Welcome to episode 9 of Squishmallow Family Feud. As you can see, uh, Rex was on the fruiton earlier and made a The fruiton. The fruiton. <laughs> fruit, fruiton. 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 <laughs> if it's made out of fruit, then it's a fruiton. <laughs> yeah. Rex was on the futon. There you go. Which made um, Anchor go in the spa. Oh. He's in the spa, but he's not. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Look at the audience. Wow. All right. Well. Welcome to episode nine. Uh, we got the pr the princess family over here. Woo! Princess family. And we got the bluey family. Bluey family in the house. New contestants, introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Amal. Hello, I'm Jean. Hello, I'm Odian. Hi, I'm Jerica. Hi, I'm Jury. Hi, I'm Alexi. Woo! All right, welcome new contestants. Welcome to the new contestants, Bluey. Bluey's team last time beat the Princess family by a lot last time. Oh, so we're it's time for a revenge. So we're gonna let the Princess family go first. Okay. All right. So here is the first question. Anna, are you ready? I'm ready. We have the top. four four answers on the board this time okay um name something you wear that might leave a mark when you take it off how about a watch is a watch up there yes Woo! Number three answer, 13 people said that good job anna ariel you're next name something you wear that might leave a mark when you take it off your bra is your bra up there? Yes, number one answer. Oh, people said good job, Ariel. That would bring you guys a total of 45 points. Good job. Amal, you're next. Name something you wear that might leave a mark when you take it off. How about your ring? Is that answer up there? Yes, number two answer. 31 people said that. That would bring you guys a total of 76 points. Great job. All right, Gene, we have one answer left, which is the number four answer. If you give me this answer, your family wins this round. But if the answer you get is not there, then you'll get your first strike. You have not gotten a single strike yet. Okay, well, that's pretty easy then. That's pretty easy for you, Jean. Yeah. All right, Jean, name something you wear that might leave a mark when you take it off. How about your hat? Is your hat up there for the win? <gasps> no. Oh, that was a good answer. People get hat head all the time. Yeah, Gene, that was a good answer, but I'm sorry. All right, Odian, mm. you, you got one answer left, which is the number four answer. Your family has gotten one strike. So it now adds a little more pressure, but not as much. So, Odian, if you give me this last answer that's remaining, your family wins the round. But if the answer you get is not there, then you'll get your second strike. Odian, name something you wear that might leave a mark when you take it off. How about a bathing suit? Is a bathing suit up there for the win? Yes! Oh! Six people said bathing suit. That brings you guys a total of 82 points. Woo! Got the first round. Yeah, they swept it. All right. Bluey family, it's your turn. Bluey, are you ready for the next question? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Give me another name that kids use for father. We have the top four answers on the board. How about daddy? Is daddy up there? Yes, that's the number two answer. 20 people said that. Good job, Bluey. All right, Bingo, you're next. 
Give me another name that kids use for father. Um, how about Papa? Is Papa up there? Yes, oh. that's the number four answer. Seven people said that. That brings you guys to 27 points. Good job, bingo. Jerrica, you're up next. Give me another name that kids use for father. Mm, how about dad? Is dad up there? Yes, that's the number one answer. 50 Whoa. 57 people said that. Whoa. That brings you guys a total of 84 points. Ooh. All right, Jiry, we got one answer left, which is the number three answer. If you give me this answer, your family wins this round. Yeah, and we'll be in the lead. But if the answer you get is not there, you'll get your first strike. Since you have not gotten the strike yet. Jiry? Give me another name that kids use for father. Well, I think this is different than Papa. Can we try, like, Pop? Is that answer up there for the win? Yeah! Oh! Yes! 11 people said Pop. That would bring you guys a total of 95 points. Ooh, it's a close one today. Back and forth. Yeah. Bluey family is 95 points. Princess family is 82 points. Princess family, it's your turn. All right, Anna. We have the top five answers on the board. Uh, kids can't wait for Christmas. What can't adults wait for? Vacation. Is vacation up there? Of course oh. it is. Number three answer. Ten people said that. That brings you guys to 92 points. Great job, Anna. Ariel, you're up next. Kids can't wait for Christmas. What can't adults wait for? How about Valentine's Day? Is Valentine's Day up there? Oh! oh. Sorry, Ariel, that was a good answer. Sorry. All right, Amal, you're up next. Kids can't wait for Christmas. What can't adults wait for? Getting paid. How about their paycheck? Is their paycheck up there? Congratulations, Amal, you got the number one answer. Woo! 20, 26 people said that. That brings you guys to 118 points. Great job, Amal. All right, Jean, you're up next. Kids can't wait for Christmas. What can't adults wait for? I'm going to say bedtime. Is bedtime up there? Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. Number five answer. Four people said that. That brings you guys to 122 points. Great job. Good job, Jean. All right. Odian, you're up next. We have the number two and uh, four answer left. Kids can't wait for Christmas. What can't adults wait for? School to start so their kids go back. Is that answer up there? Yes. Woo! Number two answer, 10 people said that. That brings you guys to 132 points. Good job, Odian. All right. All right, Anna. We have the number four answer left. Your family has only gotten one strike. So, Anna, if you get the last answer that's remaining, your family wins the round. But if the an and you'll be back in the lead. But if the answer you get is not there, you'll get your second strike. Okay, which I'm ready. Which would make the bigger pressure on Ariel. Okay. Kids can't wait for Christmas. What can't adults wait for? How about the 4th of July? Is the 4th of July up there for the win? No! Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Ariel. I'm so sorry, guys. Ariel, now all the pressure's on you. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ariel, we got to be careful. You got two strikes, but there's one answer left. Ariel, 
If you give me this last answer that's remaining, your family wins the round and will be back in the lead. But if the answer you get is not there, you'll get your third strike and the Bluey family will have a chance to steal. Ariel, kids can't wait for Christmas. What can't adults wait for? Oh man, I'm gonna say the day after Christmas. Is the day after Christmas up there for the win? Yeah! Wah! Wah! Eight people said that. That brings you guys to 140 points. Woo! Wow, this is getting neck and neck here. Wow. All right, Bluey family, it is your turn. You can come up, Lil. <laughs> We got two more rounds, Lil. Come on up. Lily is yelling downstairs. She's not happy we're up here recording. <laughs> Go ahead. It's okay. All right, Bluey family. Oh, wait. Lily's making an appearance. Hi, Lily. Say hi. Are you going to say hi? <laughs> there we go. We're recording Squishmallow Family Feud. You can come in. Yeah. All right. Um, Bluey family, it's your turn. Cheese? Okay, I'll be right down. We have two more quick rounds, and then I'll come down and help you. Or you can hang out if you want. Hi. <laughs> okay, go ahead, host. All right, Bluey family, it's your turn. We got the top. What the heck? Some of the numbers are out of order. It's supposed to be the top four answers. Oh, yeah, it's one, two, four, five. Yeah. They just forgot the three. Yeah. So we technically have the top four answers on the board instead of five. I'll be down in a minute, Shug. All right, Bluey. Hang? We have the top four answers on the board. Uh, Bluey, name a way you can revive someone who just passed out. Um, CPR. Is CPR up there? Yes! Woo! Number one answer right away. Congratulations. Oh, Lily's cheering. <laughs> That's 155 points for you guys. Good start, Bluey. I'll be down in just a minute, honey. I'll be right there. T, you need Takis? Okay, I'll be there in just a minute. Or you can get them from the pantry. They're on the bottom. Yeah. Or I'll be right there. <laughs> Sorry for this interruption, folks. Yeah, it's okay. We try to do it when Lily's napping, but we're early today. I'll be down in a minute, bud. All right, Bingo, you're up next. Name a way you can revive someone who just passed out. How about slap them in the face? Is that answer up there? Yeah. Oh. Number five answer. Six people said that. That brings you up to 161 points. All right. All right. Jerrica, you're up next. We have the number of two and three answer. It's supposed to be, it says two and four, but it's actually two and three. So Jerrica, name, name a way you can revive someone who just passed out. How about dumping water on their head? Is that answer up there? Yeah. Oh, good job, Jerrica. That's the number two answer. 17 people said that. That brings you up to 178 points. All right, Jiry, we have the number three answer left. If you give me um, this last answer that's remaining, your family wins the round and will be in the lead. But Jiry, you have a slight advantage since there's no strikes yet for you guys. So, Jiry, if you get an answer that's up there, your family wins the round and will be in the lead. But if you get an answer that's not up there, you'll get your first strike. Jiry, name a way you can revive someone who just passed out. How about shaking them? Shake it. Shake it Is shaking good. them up there for the win? Oh! No. At least Alexi gets to play. She didn't get a chance last round. Yeah, at least Alexi gets to play. All right, Alexi, we got the number uh, uh, three answer left. I almost said four because <laughs> of the numbers being mixed up here. But anyway, you got the number three answer left. 
Alexi, if you give me this, the last answer that's remaining, your family wins the round and will be in the lead. But if the answer you get is not on the board, then you'll get your second strike, which would uh, which would be big pressure on Bluey. Mm -hmm. Name a way, Alexi, name a way you can revive someone who just passed out. How about smelling salts? Is smelling salt up there for the win? Yeah! Ah! Seven people said that. Woo! We do have a shootout today. 185 points to Bluey family and 140 points to Oh, Bluey. so close. Woo! But... That that means there isn't going to be a sun in death run. I don't think no, it's going to be who goes to the fast money. But Princess Team has the advantage because they get to lead the last round. Yeah, they have the advantage. So the Bluey family can only get more points if they steal this. Yeah, yeah. All right. This last question is kind of similar to the last question, to the previous question. Uh, we have the top four answers on the board. Name a type of structure that is sometimes named after dead people. Dead people. Jeez. Um, how about a monument, like the Washington Monument? Is a monument up there. Yes, number, number one answer. Wow, Anna, right out of the gate. Good work. 19 people said that. That brings you guys to 159 points. Good start for you, Anna. Great job. All right, Ariel, you're up next. Name a type of structure that is sometimes named after dead people. How about a museum? Is a museum up there? Oh! No. Sorry, Ariel. That was a good answer, though. Good answer. All right, Amal, name a type of structure that is sometimes named after dead people. How about a school? Is a school up there? Yes! Oh, great! Number three answer, 15 people said that. That brings you guys to 174 points. All right. Great job, Amal. All right. Um, Jean, you're up next. We have the number two and four answer left. Name a type of structure that is sometimes named after dead people. I'm gonna say a statue. Is a statue up there? Yes! Woo! That's the number four answer. Ten people said that. That brings you guys to 184 points. Great job, Gene. All right, Odian, here's the big moment here for you. Your family has only got one strike, but there's only one answer left on the board, and it's the last question. Odian. We have the number two answer left. If you give me that answer, your family wins the game and goes to fast money. Wow, big question. But if the answer you get is not there, you'll get your second strike. <laughs> okay. Which will make a very big pressure on Anna. Oh my goodness. Come on, Odian, you can do it. All right, Odian, name a type of structure that is sometimes named after dead people. How about a library? Is the library up there for the win? <laughs> uh, to go to fast money. <gasps> yeah! 18 people said that. Woo! redemption from the last time yeah all right well that's the end of the main question round the final score is princess family with 202 points Woo! and the bluey family with 185 points Woo! close game good job so all closer, players yeah definitely a closer game than yesterday well bluey family Sorry that you lost today, but thank you guys for playing. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us on the show. Yeah, thank you for having us. I agree with Jerrica. Thank you for having us. 
I agree with Jairi, my bro. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next time for a fast money round for the princess family to compete in. See you guys then. Bye! Bye!